Hey, 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 Eric. Um, y'all didn't practice yesterday, but you did today. I guess what was it like just getting those reps with Ian? Oh, it was good. Um, you know, he's a talented young individual. Um, yeah, I'm excited for him. I think he has a great opportunity ahead of him. Whoops. Uh, what have your impressions of him been since he got here? Oh, man. Uh, love the kid. Um, you know, I'm with him every day in QB Center Exchange. We have some conversations. We know he's a good athlete, um, a real smart kid. Um, like I said, I'm just really excited for the, op the opportunity that he has in front of him um, to go out and show the world what he has. Luke? Hey, Eric, what's it been like this uh, this year, just especially these last couple of weeks, just knowing how quickly everything can change and, you know, one day you got a whole offensive line out there and the next day they're on the COVID list? Like, how do you guys kind of approach that? Um, yeah, we just got to be ready to adjust on the fly. Um, I feel like I say this every time I'm on here, but, uh, you know, we're big on the next man up mentality. You know, we have guys in the room that can play. We have guys in the room that are veterans. We have guys in the room that have a ton of experience. And um, we know that they're just waiting for their opportunity. So I'm excited. JD. Hey, Eric. Um, fourth quarterback for you guys this season. It, I don't know how much it changes for you as an offensive lineman, but is that is that an odd feeling for you at all? in any sense um you know not really um the majority of the time when i say the majority of the time i mean 100 percent of the time i'm not really worried about who's back there you could throw a j-mac back there you could throw an old lineman back there at the end of the day i have to go and execute my job um to the best of my ability to be for us to be successful i don't think j-mac could do it just i think he could i got faith in him <laughs> amy how tough has it been this week? I know y'all have had adversity all season, but just not necessarily knowing who's going to be at practice, who's gone. One day you have, you know, a couple offensive linemen, and then, poof, you know, Zach Streif goes on the COVID list today, Mills yesterday, mm -hmm. Ramchek today, that type of thing. Yeah, it's all about the adjustment. Um, like I said, we have a ton of guys in the room that can play that have been starters in other places for plenty of years and guys that are going to be ready for their, their chance to go. Um, we got some ball players now. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited for their opportunity. Rod Walker. Hey Eric, you're a few years removed from your first start in the NFL, but what kind of advice would you give a guy like Ian who's getting to make his debut on a Monday night on the biggest stage of football? Yeah. Play the next play. Um, I think my first start was Monday Night Football against the Texans. Um, it's, but I would just say play the next play. You know, you're going to mess up. You're going to have mistakes. Um, but you can let those hold you back. You got to keep going. Luke? Hey, Eric, how do you, um, like, like, how do you view uh, just this whole COVID thing going on right now? It seems like basically every player in the NFL has been on the list once, it seems like. Um, so <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, good timing of the cough. I just swallowed a, a mosquito. <laughs> Sorry, I swallowed a mosquito. That's okay. We gotta make sure that it, that we make it, that we make sure it's a mosquito and not and not COVID for everybody. Okay. Um, <coughs> look, it, it seems like like there's so many players going on the COVID list and, and um, yeah, across the league, like like. How, how are you viewing this with just knowing that you guys are around a bunch of people all the time? Um, you know, it, it's there's so many guys going on it lately. Mm -hmm. Do you just yeah. kind of say like, I hope that I'm not the next guy? <laughs> like, it, you you just uh, take I mean, extra precautions. I mean, how do you how do you do it? Yeah, I mean, I hope that I'm not the next guy. Um, I don't want anybody on the team to catch it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I also realize that no one cares about our problems. Um, and I think DA said this the other day, 95% of the world doesn't care about our problems and 5% are happy that we have them. Um, so just kind of taking that mentality and rolling with it and realizing that the Miami Dolphins don't care how many players we have on the COVID list. Um, and that we have to go out and execute no matter who's on the field. I think that's it, Eric. Thank you. All right, cool. Appreciate it. <laughs> I can't believe it's all in the studio, bro. Thanks, Eric.